Well, Birmingham is a city in the West Midlands, which won an 18th century reputation in England as a manufacturing powerhouse. Indeed, still today, out of England's 317 global government authorities, Birmingham is regarded as the seventh most deprived local authority. Though it's the second largest UK city, but they've breathed new life into the Commonwealth Games. Did you see those crowds at 11 a.m. Birmingham time? In the morning, the athletic stadium was packed. And didn't they get their money's worth? And didn't we? Talking about the un-Australian disease of not saluting success, you won't get that here. You've got to say this slowly. The win by the Sydney 25-year-old Oliver Hoare, another Trinity Grammar old boy like Rowan Browning, in the men's 1500 metres on the track, may well be one of the finest sporting performances in years. The field contained the metric mile, the newly minted world champion, and the three men who came second, third and fourth at the Tokyo Olympics last year. Four of the finalists were from last month's world championships. They were in the field. Ollie Hoare, who studies and is coached in America, has won an unforgettable and sensational gold medal on the line joining the great Herb Elliott as the only two Australians, Herb in 1958, the only two Australian athletes to have won the mile or the metric mile in a Commonwealth Games, smashing the Games record in what must rank as one of the greatest athletic performances by an Australian athlete ever. He dedicated the gold medal to his grandfather, a World War II veteran who died at age 96 a week ago. And the young man, Ollie Hall, was very close to his grandfather and the funeral was two days before his grandson achieved this sensational result, beating the Tokyo Olympic silver medalist and former world 1500 metre champion on the line in what has been described, I say, as one of the greatest races ever seen at the Commonwealth Games. There were other stars. Jemima Montag won the gold medal in the 10 kilometre walk, repeating the gold that she won in the gold at the Gold Coast four years ago, but she dedicated the gold medal to her grandmother, who avoided the gas chambers of World War II and walked to freedom across ice with no food and barely any clothes. Another remarkable performance by a relatively unknown was that of Daniel Golubovic, who came within 36 points of winning the gold medal in the men's decathlon. We've got now four athletes, over 8,000 points, which is unbelievable. Australia have been on fire in the diving. Madison Keeney and Annabelle Lucy Smith won gold in the women's synchronised three metre springboard. Every twist and turn of one diver must match that of the other. And we also won the women's synchronised 10 metre platform with the 14 year old Charlie Petroff and the gifted 30 year old Melissa Wu. Now, I don't know if you're into this rhythmic gymnastics, but they throw hoops and clubs into the air. They turn poetic somersaults and they catch what they've just released. Amazing gold medal stuff by Alexandra Kiroi bogat Varia. Kelsey Lee Barber has now joined the greats. She had just written her name into the history books at the World Championships in Oregon, the first woman ever to win back-to-back -back world titles in the Javelin. Then she contracted coronavirus in the lead up to Birmingham, yet she's won the Javelin gold medal with her final throw, Kelsey Lee Barber. Having won the gold medal in the women's pole vault with Nina Kennedy, 25-year-old Curtis Marshall has won gold in the men's pole vault. No one seems to be able to touch our women's netball. They won gold, as did our splendid women's cricket team, technically superb players. And what about the 30-year-old Aaron Wilson? <laughs> He's won back-to-back -back gold medals in the men's individual lawn bowls. Four years ago on the Gold Coast, there he is, he famously ripped off his shirt after he won the gold. He did the same thing at the weekend, but he offered the immortal observation after the shirt came off. And I quote, have a look at him. I just wish I had a better rig, but that's life. <laughs> I think we agree with him.